came out of the program a very different leader than a, how I arrived here. I'd been a shop floor supervisor and I'd had some of those experiences, but the LGO program completely changed the type of leader that I was and my capability as a leader to affect change in an organization. When I went to China, I was really put to the test because we were starting up a factory um, from scratch with a team that didn't know our business. I'm in the remanufacturing business and I've spent seven years in that business and so I was kind of the, the subject matter expert and I had to get a whole bunch of people educated and pulling in the same direction. And when I left there, we had the number one operating facility in Caterpillar, in Caterpillar based on our uh, Caterpillar production system assessment. Um, and so that was just a real leadership challenge and, and it changes all the time. We do an assessment every 18 months or two years at CAT. And it's amazing how much has changed post the program. But a lot of that is just me refining the tools and skills that I learned here. And then I think from a technical point of view, I've, I've spent seven years in our remanufacturing business. And the first couple years, I was a, um, a process expert. And so I still find myself very deep in technical conversations every day using the, the technical part of the education I received here at MIT. And so I'm getting to use everything that I've learned, which has been great. Being able to just dive in and do what it takes to get the job done, that comes in very handy and will create for you a reputation that goes beyond the current job and whatever that you do or wherever you define it. I think it's important for you to really understand what is your personal brand? What differentiates you? Because there's a lot of graduates from this program as well as others throughout the country. What makes it, what about you is different? What are you going to bring to the party and what can you provide um, a future employer? I think is, is really important. I also think it's important to know yourself. What are your limitations? Um, what, what can't you do? What don't you like to do? Know what you're passionate about. Because if you can combine that passion with the job opportunity, that's, uh, that's real good. Well, one more question is, um, have you utilized the LGO network? I've used it for every job opportunity, as has my husband. Neither one of us have interviewed for jobs since we've left MIT. Any job opportunity has come through the network. Um, and um, typically, it's come fast. But I would say that this is the most important network that you will establish and that, that will ring true for many, many years. Uh, challenge. Look for things that are hard, uh, that, that you're passionate about. I mean, I guess start there. You need, to, you need to find out what you're passionate about, what you really want to do. Once you have that kind of medium to long term uh, idea of where you want to be, you go out and find the hardest job you can find that the company will give you that'll put you on that path. Um, and it's going to make it tough, you know, there's no doubt, but you're going through two years of very challenging, uh, you know, you're taking a lot of classes, you're going to be going, doing an internship, you're you know, juggling a hundred different things at the same time. So in many ways, uh, your, your early experiences should be very much a, a, a mirror of that. But make sure that you take on really hard jobs that are really going to stretch you. That because um, there are things that all of us are not either not good at or not comfortable with. But to be a good leader, you really need to be pretty well rounded. And so force yourself into those situations where you are going to have to do things that maybe you're not so comfortable with, so that you you know you become better at that skill. Um, and so you, what you want to find is a company that's willing to throw a roll out at you that you know is aligned with where you want to be long term. Uh, a lot of the roles we hire LGOs into are specifically shop floor roles to start. I, I, not because I expect everybody will be, it's going to be in a shop floor role you know, for more than another six months, but the idea is to really understand the business. You know, when you're in, in our case, if you're in Seattle and you're sitting in a room with a bunch of operations executives, if you can talk to your experience on the shop floor in a building, makes you so much more credible. It makes you so much more able to really ha come to the conversation from a place of power, frankly. Because you can say, when I did this, here's what happened. And understanding that skill set that I, I wanted to gain for myself and what it meant for my career longer term. So uh, when I first came out of LGO, I took a very corporate position. And I had never worked for a large organization before, so I learned a ton. I mean, it was, it was really, really uh, fantastic experience. Um, but it also taught me that I wanted to get to the fundamentals of our business. And so rather than taking a promotion in what seemed to be a very sexy role, I went to work in manufacturing on the plant floor. 
and um, manage a team in that area and really work on my leadership skills and understanding um, the fundamentals. And then I use that as kind of my guiding principle for the next few years, saying that I've, I've gotten the big picture view, or at least enough of what I need right now. It's important to me when I, I think of my longer term career growth to know that I will not hit a glass ceiling, I will not become administrative, I will not become kind of a, a support role that I don't want to be in because I have the basics and I have them down. 